Dan Blocker was a beloved American actor best known for his role as Hoss Cartwright on the classic television series Bonanza. With his towering presence and warm-hearted character, Blocker quickly became a fan favorite, endearing himself to millions of viewers. Blocker's legacy lives on through his memorable performances and his son, Dirk Blocker. Dirk has carved out his successful acting career, notably in the hit show Brooklyn Nine-Nine, while honoring his father's influence. Recently, Dirk made a surprising admission about his father that sheds new light on their relationship and the challenges of living up to such a legendary name. Want to find out? Here's the full details. The Legacy of Dan Blocker Thus, Dan Blocker influenced television and pop culture for many years. Blocker became well-known and impacted the Western genre as the amiable Hoss Cartwright on the classic Bonanza television program. His portrayal of Hoss was well-received by audiences, and he became one of the most adored TV characters ever. Middle son Ben Cartwright Hoss was portrayed as a sensitive but at the same time a muscular man. In a field of serious, unemotional males very often, Hoss was a refreshing exception. Despite his massive size, he was thought to possess incredible sensitivity and almost childlike purity. Because of his mixture of authority and benevolence, the viewers see Hoss as sympathetic and can relate to him as a character. The attractiveness of Hoss, for the most part, referred to his ability to infuse in part such qualities as tenderness and warmth from Blocker. People appreciated the man behind the actor as much as they appreciated his larger-than-life personality on screen. Each episode had Blocker's charm, which elevated Haas from a mere character to a warm and sympathetic person in a world portrayed as vicious most of the time. The elements of acting done by Blocker contribute highly towards Haas Cartwright's success and Bonanza's victory. From 1959 to 1973, Bonanza was one of the most frequently broadcasted and longest-running Western series on television. Blocker was a prominent cast member of the show from its inception until he died in 1972. He was one of the most famous faces on television at the time, and his look became synonymous with the character and ethos of the show. Dan Blocker has had an influence not only in pop culture, but also in the movie business. His Haas performance showed how the hero of the Western can be sensitive as well as violent, thus reviving the Western hero. This deviation from the Western model, typical of the American cinema of the 1970s, predetermined the further evolution of the genre and the image of its characters in the following years. He was imitating other television personalities and thus he inspired a generation of performers and writers through his warmth, humor, and moral purity. Another area that brought positive changes was Blocker's politeness, which also pleased his fans. He was a very humble and kind man, and he used to spare some time to meet people who admired his work. His relations with fans show that this man never allowed fame to get the better of him. The nature of Blocker's actual character was revealed in public and on the stage to build a significant connection with the viewers. Dan Blocker left behind sympathy, kindness, and compassion. His portrayal of Hoss Cartwright left a memorable impression on the audience, and he still significantly affects today's society and the media. The fact that Blocker is still popular in today's world, which is full of short-lived trends, is evidence that real compassion and the timeless quality of the main character are important. Growing up as Dan Blocker's son Dirk Blocker was not like other kids, growing up with a father figure such as Dan Blocker, who was a giant of a man. Dan Blocker was a familiar face to American households in the 1960s as the star of the historic television show Bonanza, playing the character Hoss Cartwright. To have such a famous father was, for Dirk, to live in the literal and metaphorical shade of a giant. Apart from being a great personality on the screen, Dan Blocker was a very caring and hard-working father to his children. Even though Dirk is a hard-working man, he always has a pleasant memory of his father as a huge man with a heart of gold who never left his family alone. Dirk was aware of his father's fame from a tender age. However, Dan ensured that his children remained humble. 
Dad would often take Dirk and his brothers to set so they could witness the field of television production firsthand. These trips were interesting for Dirk, but at the same time, they put him in mind the extent of his father's popularity. Dirk has one memorable experience with his father, which was not captured by the media. Dan Blocker always loved the woods, and he would often take Dirk on camping trips where they would be away from Hollywood pressures. To Dirk, these were precious times because they helped him look beyond his father's television personality. These were chances to expand their knowledge of the physical world, life, and family requirements. While Dan Blocker attempted to keep his children down to earth, it was apparent from a young age that Dirk had his father's desire to act. The entertainment business fascinated Dirk. He was also active in school events and performances. While his father was encouraging, he did not want Dirk to perform to replicate his success for the right reasons. Knowing the demands of show business, Dan Blocker constantly reminded Dirk that talent was not enough to create good work. One needed to work hard, be devoted, and be brave. Nevertheless, Dirk was interested in the theater and films. He appreciated his father's occupation and was willing to set up his own business. Being the son of Dan Blocker, Dirk's reality of growing older became evident. It was evident that having a famous father was not all bad, but there was pressure and expectations that came with it. Dirk felt as though he was constantly being compared to his father's achievements, and he felt that he needed to be a blocker in every sense of the word. Of course, there was also external pressure, but Dirk expected much of himself as well. Hence, this strain was not only from the outside. He wished his father to be happy, though he also wished to carve his own identity and show that he was not just Hoss Cartwright's son. Dirk was in a dilemma due to his dual desires. He struggled to respect his father while at the same time he wanted to break free. Despite all this, Dirk Blocker built his own career in show business. He did not give up on acting and got roles in movies and television series that displayed his talent. While his father was flamboyant in his behavior, Dirk carved a unique identity for himself in the field of characterization where he mostly portrayed the roles of a lunatic or a person who is out of his mind. Dirk has mentioned his father many times in his career, and all those instances were about his father's influence on him as a person and an athlete. Besides popularity and success, Dan Blocker bequeathed the world of great integrity, compassion, and love for the family. Dirk has taken some attributes that suit him in his work and life. As the son of Dan Blocker, Dirk Blocker experienced benefits and challenges in his childhood. This period influenced his choice of profession and made him very grateful. Most importantly, it provided him with a reference point of a man whose life was characterized by love and values he passed to his children, not fame. This is the story of Dirk Blocker, who proved he could make it in Hollywood on his terms despite following in his father's footsteps. While Dan Blocker was already well known as Hoss Cartwright in Bonanza, Dirk attempted to build his persona in the world of showbiz. Dirk Blocker began his acting career in the early 1970s and has been featured in many minor roles in films and television series. He was visible from the beginning in programs like Gunsmoke and Adam 12. These projects assist him in gaining experience and therefore gradually establishing his reputation. The first roles given to Dirk show that he could portray a range of roles, from police officers to regular people, which helped him develop his ability and create his approach. One of his most famous scenes is his early performance in the 1969 film The Great Bank Robbery. This section was vital because it enabled Dirk to show the actor's talent by progressing from small parts to more significant ones. Dirk initially joined the popular television series Brooklyn Nine-Nine as Detective Michael Hitchcock. This role differed from the serious and solemn images that he has lately been portraying. Hitchcock's humorous and at times clumsy detective character allowed Dirk to demonstrate his versatility and comedic flair. His performance was appreciated and facilitated the program's getting necessary critical reviews. Similarly, in his acting career, Dirk was mainly typecasted as the character Zachary 
in the 1973 movie titled The Last American Hero. This section demonstrated his ability to work with dramatic material, thus aiding him in building his reputation as a skilled actor. Dirk also had an impact with his typical 1990s role in The X-Files. His appearances on the show, which also showcased his versatility in terms of the kind of roles he could do, ranging from comedy to science fiction, were well received by the audience and critics. This flexibility was beneficial to Dirk, especially as it enabled him to start his career from scratch without being associated with his father's business. Despite being inspired by his father, Dirk Blocker tried to build his own career in Hollywood and work on his own successful formula. While Blocker's simple, more giant-like persona was already famous, Dirk enjoyed many roles that proved his versatility. This made him select funny and character-related roles, which made him unique in the company. In many ways, Dirk's profession is quite distinct from that of his father. Although Dirk has had several career roles, Dan Blocker was most famous for playing Hoss Cartwright, a character representing integrity and strength. His ability to move from comedy to drama and character impersonation shows versatility and intelligence. Other than acting, Dirk has been a producer and director, proving his dedication to the profession and willingness to help the company in other ways. His work, mostly off-camera, has provided him with another area to take up as a career and put him in a position to shape productions from a different angle. Thus, while Dirk Blocker's career is unarguably a product of his father's achievement, he has entered the field gracefully and forcefully. For Dirk, motivation has come from the fact that he is succeeding the television legend, but it has not been easy. The following is a brief analysis of Dirk's career and how he overcame obstacles and continued where his father left in the family business. Even though Dirk frequently mentions that his father played a positive role in his career and life, he has pointed to Dan's professionalism and dedication to the job as the key points. Dirk has also stressed, however, the need to establish his own identity apart from his father's greatness. Thus, Dirk's work path has been shaped mostly by this balance between paying tribute to his father and carving his way. The long-held secret, what we all suspected. In a recent comprehensive interview, Dirk Blocker, the son of the late Dan Blocker, revealed a secret that has been speculated to the public. Fans have speculated that the disclosure centers on Dan Blocker's impact on Dirk's life and career and the once marginalized familial ties. The focus of the admission made by Dirk Blocker is based on the fact that his father, Dan Blocker, influenced his career and self-identity. The fans have always strongly believed that Dan's legacy played a significant role in Dirk's career progression and choices. Lately, Dirk has testified that this is the case. He said that being born into the family and growing up under the shadow of his father's fame as Hoss Cartwright from the beloved TV series Bonanza was a blessing and a challenge at the same time. This disclosure validates what many had long believed. In a nutshell, the life of Dan Blocker's kid was transformed and affected in a very profound and lasting manner by his sheer size and accomplishments. The primary significance of Dirk Blocker's statement is that it backs a notion that is generally presumed about the impact of Dan Blocker's fame on his family. Audiences and the general population had speculated whether Dirk's father's influence was an issue in his life decisions and career trajectory. To those who followed the fate of the Blocker family, Dirk's confession brings a sense of justice and understanding. It proves that the relationship between a father and a son is complex and includes respect and expectations to become a legendary person. The disclosure also highlights that children of celebrities have to bear a sometimes hidden burden. Those who have contemplated the problems faced by those who receive the torch will relate to Dirk's confession. It also focuses on the psychological aspects of belonging to an honorable family and the price that one has to pay for it. Dirk has proved that people have reasons to distrust the authorities and enriched our understanding of the Blocker family's story by sharing these difficulties. It was for this reason that Dirk Blocker 
finally chose to share this knowledge not only for emotional satisfaction, but also for personal gain. Dirk struggled with being just the son of a famous man for several years, though he mainly experienced the pressure of Dan Blocker's personality. Stressors described as emotionally exhausting included the pressure to be as successful as his father and the constant comparison to the famous Hoss Cartwright. Dirk's confession can also be seen as a purging process where he faces inner conflicts and regains his position beside the father figure. Furthermore, Dirk's decision to talk now can be viewed as an effort to narrate his own story and pay tribute to his father. Dirk's goal is to provide more details about his relationship with his father and a glimpse of the private struggles that the public image of their family masked by sharing his story. It is a way of paying tribute to Dan Blocker's influence while simultaneously validating his achievements. The Impact of Dan Blocker's Death on His Family Dan Blocker died of a heart attack in 1972, and his family has endured a lot for a long time. Sadly, Dan died at 43, a significant loss to the entertainment industry, and an excruciating and personal loss for his family as the beloved actor who played Hoss Cartwright in Bonanza. His death affected their lives for the worse and for the better in the short run and in the long run, especially for his wife Dolphia and their children Dirk, David, and Deborah. The death of Dan Blocker was a significant loss for his family. His death was sudden, and they were left in shock and grief. Due to Dan's absence, a gap was created in their life, especially in their public and personal life. To Dirk, who was in his early 20s, his father's death was not only an emotional challenge, but also a practical one when it came to dealing with life under the shadow of Dan's legendary career. The Blocker family struggled to cope with the loss of Dan, and at the same time, they had to fight the public interest and sympathy to get back to their ordinary lives. The media coverage of Dan's death posed still another layer of difficulty because the family was in the public eye during a time of mourning. In the long run, this loss impacted Dirk and his siblings in some ways due to the absence of Dan Blocker. Thus, the death of a father meant that Dirk had to find himself in a world where he had to deal with the heritage of Hoss Cartwright. Despite it being a tremendous pressure, the pressure to perform to his father's expectations impacted his growth and the kind of jobs he took. While he did not become a sportsman, Dirk tried to establish himself in the business and acted, at least in part, to honor his father's legacy. The absence of Dan also made Dirk reflect on the family's values and the lessons he learned from his father. It introduced more emphasis on the family's ability to cope and stand by each other. While the Blocker family was struggling to come to terms with their loss and ensure that Dan's memory was kept alive, the closeness that they had with each other translated into strength. The family of Dan Blocker has undertaken several activities to pay tribute to him. Dirk Blocker consciously attempted to pay tribute to his father's death through his profession and public presence. He has mentioned Dan as a part of his life and participated in events and interviews emphasizing his father's contribution to the entertainment business and television. In addition, several tributes were made to Dan's impact on society. The family kept in contact with supporters and participated in activities related to charity that reflected Dan's kindness and ethical values. These measures were intended to ensure that Dan's name would be respected and remembered positively in the future. The account of Dirk Blocker on his father, Dan Blocker, gives an insight into how a great person's impact can transform the lives of people around him. Dirk's career has been significantly influenced by his father's excellent career and fame as the son of the famous actor best known for portraying Hoss Cartwright in Bonanza. In many interviews and public speeches, Dirk has stated his opinions on how Dan Blocker's fame and achievements influenced his life and career. Dirk often muses over the dual nature of living under his father's shadow, a challenge as it is a motivation. Dirk gave a rather exciting interview with TV Guide, in which he mentioned how his father's success put a lot of pressure on him and made him act under the expectation of being like Dan. 
Despite these challenges, Dirk has demonstrated much respect for his father's accomplishments and the desire to continue the struggle. Dirk's writings and public comments show a somewhat nuanced attitude toward the father figure. In his memoir, Dirk writes about how his life has been influenced by the moral compass of Dan Blocker, which includes diligence, honesty, and humility. Dirk underlines the fact that despite the attempts to chart his course in the sphere of entertainment business, his outlook on work and life has been influenced significantly by the knowledge received from his father. Dirk's role and responsibility is to assist in honoring Dan Blocker's memory. He has participated in events and interviews to remember the life and work of Dan, thus ensuring that his father's contribution to television and culture remains relevant. As for the attempt to show how far-reaching Dan Blocker's impact on his family and viewers was, Dirk often speaks about the character of his father and the outcome of his activity, the bond between father and son. Dan and Dirk Blocker were brothers who shared a warm and friendly relationship. They respected each other as brothers and had a lot in common. Dirk appreciated his father's performance since childhood, but he was also a loving and devoted father. Their interaction was characterized by affectionate and intimate occasions, excluding the stardom and kinship sphere. One story shows how they are related, how Dan assisted Dirk in chasing their early acting ambitions. Dan took his time to help Dirk and direct him. Even with his busy schedule, he offered invaluable advice and support. Dirk also recalls the time he was on set with his father, Dan, and noted that his father's knowledge and peaceful demeanor impacted him. These interactions enhanced their friendship and gave Dirk a solid career foundation. Thus, Dan's impact on Dirk was not limited to the direction of the business. It was equally evident from their conversation and areas of mutual concern that they were closely related. Dirk mentioned that he and his father used to go hiking and fishing, which has made them very close and understand each other. These events shaped Dirk's perception of fame and family which is why it is essential to maintain one's principles and sanity under public scrutiny. In this respect, it is evident that their impact is reflected in Dirk's attitude to his public life and work. Dirk has always been loyal to his father's memory, and this has influenced his actions and management of the issues of stardom. He has said several times that his father's example has helped him determine that he can be a good son, a good brother, and a good employee who will not betray his principles and his family for the sake of career success. As we wrap up this look into Dan Blocker's lasting legacy and Dirk Blocker's heartfelt revelations, ensure you don't miss the full video by clicking on the screen now. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button and subscribe for more stories and updates. Thanks for watching.